Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Um, you're watching just your average carpenter. I like to do wood works, but sometimes there's certain things at home that you gotta take care of and you wanna save yourself a lot of money um, instead of bringing to the dealer. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you how to change your spark plug on a, a 2015 Lexus RX350. Now, Lexus is a little bit hard and it's tricky um, compared to your average Honda cars. Most of the Honda cars are four cylinders, so it's very easy to change the spark plug. Uh, everything is right on top, but for a Lexus um, RX350, now it depends on the model. The 2015, um, it's a little bit hard. Um, you gotta put a lot of work in it, but I'm gonna show you step by step, and I show exactly what you need to look for uh, in order to change it. Uh, this will be probably the simplest way. Uh, it's not easy but it'll be the simplest way for you to change your spark plug and um, I'll give you the tools that you're going to be needing and um, this will help you save you I, I'm thinking in the hundreds of dollars because changing the spark plug if you bring it to a dealer you're looking at at least two three hundred dollars now the spark plug depending on what kind of spark plug you get um, I just changed the spark plug um, I use NGK uh, there's also Bosch, um, and there's another brand also, but I, I, I like NGK, so I just changed yesterday, and um, like everybody else, if you don't know how to do it, you look on YouTube, but on the YouTube, they show you like older model, and it's very hard to know what you're looking for, so um, uh, through, you know, experience or through doing it itself, then I learn where to look for and what I need to do. So let's take a look at the tools that you're going to need and then uh, we'll go from there. So these are the tools that I use to change the spark plug on my um, Lexus RX 350. In the year is 2015. You're going to need a long nose plier. This is a shorter, smaller, um, sharp nose plier, but if you look at the tip, is kind of bent and I'll tell you why you're gonna need this this is a 3 8 um, long extension a 3 8 short extension this is a some of the socket you're gonna need is one is a 10 millimeter and the other one I believe is gonna be a 12 millimeter but it's gonna be um, using the three-eighths size okay if you look it's a three it's a three-eighth size now the 10 millimeter is using a one quarter so um, you're gonna need this adapter it's actually a three-eighth to one quarter um, adapter and I'll tell you why, because the space uh, that you're gonna be going into to uh, remove um, three of the spark plug is very limited. And this is also what you're gonna be needing, is a flexible adapter, it's a one quarter. Um, so uh, you're gonna be needing this to take out some of the screws. Um, from where it's going to be uh, difficult, uh, but uh, with this um, video, um, I'm pretty sure you should be able to manage that. Okay, once you lift up the hood on your Lexus RX 350, um, this is what it looks like. You have all these panels right here that you're going to need to remove. Um, it's easier to do the job once all the panels are removed, along with this front panel and all your both of your windshield wipers now be careful um, all these panels has these little plastic clips now if you look carefully it's a uh, it's about 10 millimeter wide um, in order to remove it you got to pop that middle ring out first before you can pop it up now um, I tend to break my clip uh, often uh, because it, it, it's, it's not difficult it's just 
hard to remove it without breaking it but if you do break it um, the dealer sells it and it's pretty cheap it's not that expensive but that's the thing that you're gonna need to remove this cover for the engine uh, it's very easy you just pop it up um, there's little four four little uh, clips that holds it together there's no screws or anything you just pop it up and pop it back in when you're done okay let's get started Now, if you can see, the uh, first part of the panels are removed. The only thing you have left that's pretty easy to take out is this cover for the engine. Just pop it up and it comes off pretty easily. And there's your engine. The thing that's holding that cover for the engine are these little ball or knob. If you look carefully, that's what they look like. There's four of them. There's one. Here's the other one. Two. Three. And four. Right there. So when you put it back, uh, just uh, find the hole and just push it down and it should stay in place. Now, if you look, uh, the first half of the uh, spark plug that you need to replace are very easy. They're right in the front. If you look carefully, see this right here? Two, and here's another one, three. To take these out, very simple. Unscrew these bolts right here. And then just pull it out and uh, unscrew the spark plug and replace it. The other half of it, because this is a six cylinder, is behind all of this so what you want to do is take out this panel right here and I'll show you how to do it got cut doing it already but that's part of the job this is a little scratch so uh, if you're worried about this then um, you might have to waste some money <laughs> going to the um, auto shop but you know things like this happen pretty often uh, but you want to be careful uh, as much as you can. The next part of this is to remove the windshield wiper. And there's three uh, nuts that you're going to need to remove. And I'll show you where they are. But first, you got to remove this little um, cover panel for the driver's side uh, wipers. Just take a little flat, small screwdriver and pop up that cap that's all right and in here is the little nut that holds it down so the thing you're going to be needing is a 14 millimeter socket Okay, now that the uh, windshield wipers are removed, you're going to need to remove this panel. Beneath this is the motor for the wipers, and I'm going to show you how to take that out also. But before you do that, both on both sides, there's this little cap right here. All you do is just kind of like pop it out. And it reviews all the bolts and nuts that you're going to have to remove with that. So... Let's go ahead and take out both of them. Okay, to take out the cover, the top cover for this panel, on both sides, there are these little two screws here and this little plastic clip right here that you're gonna have to remove first.
Okay, now that I take out the top cover for this panel, you can see the motor for the wiper. And there's a couple of screws that you're gonna need to take out. There's about four or five. Here's one, two, look carefully right here, two, three, right here, four, and there's one more on the side. I'll zoom in so you can see. If you look carefully in there, there's one right there. Okay. Before you take the motor out, there's a couple clips you want to remove first. Right here, there's one clip. Remove that. There's this little clip here that you can just pop out um, using a, a screwdriver. And this right here, right here, let me show you. This plastic thing, you can just pull it out and then place it put it back later okay so okay Now that everything is removed, the last thing you want to remove is this panel. This is uh, actually for when the water, um, when you have rain, it flows down, it doesn't uh, hit the engine. So this is the panel that protects the water from getting to the engine. But there are quite a few screws that you're going to need to remove. Now if you look carefully, mount uh, the screw that mount to the frame itself are here here and likewise on the other side but on each side where the um, the strut and the shocks are there's three bolt that um, or screws that you need to remove now one of them if you notice see this one it's not attached to the frame the one that are attached to the frame are this one and this one right here so you can remove these two but not that one. The reason for that is this one is holding your spring and your, your shock um, with that, uh, onto the frame. So when you remove the other two, this should not be affected. And there's one more, uh, one more small um, bolt here that you need to remove on both sides. So once you remove that, you can remove the panel. Now, be careful when you are um, loosening these uh, bolts and nuts. This is your uh, windshield right here. It's glass. So if you're not careful, you could crack this. So when working with anything, um, always be careful and take your time. There's no rush.
Okay, now that the panel has been removed, there's more space for you to get behind here to take out the spark plug. Uh, before you do that, I would recommend if you look carefully, there is about one, two, three, four. Four clips that uh, you should remove before starting uh, to remove the um, spark plug. One other thing about this um, sharp, sharp nose uh, pliers that's a little bent, um, you're gonna need that for this. See all these clips right here? See all these clips right here? Some of them are hard to uh, use a uh, straight sharp nose because you don't have room. So this one works very well. Um, when you're removing those clips, um, you're gonna find one that you're gonna be uh, needing this type of pliers and it should be very helpful. Look carefully, not that much room. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in to the area where the spark plug is located and there's not much here to show you except that you're gonna have to do yourself and um, try your best to get behind there with all the the tools that um, mentioned that I've mentioned in the beginning to remove the spark plug and replace um, I recommend whatever you do for each spark plug that you removed replace that one right away do not attempt to remove all three um, is is best practice to replace one at a time so that way you do not get confused which um, bolts or nuts goes where okay so let me go ahead and um, zoom in and show you where all of them are located now keep in mind that the SUV the RX 350 it's pretty high so if you're not a tall person, you're going to have to pretty much be laying on the engine, but be careful not to break anything or um, damage any wiring when you do that. Um, just take your time, know your footings, and then basically, yeah, you're going to have to get dirty and lay on top of it in order to reach behind there to remove the screw. And there's a couple bolts that I have made a mistake by removing, and they're not part of the spark plug caps so um, I will show you um, the one that are uh, you it actually looks like this see this spark plug cap right here it looks like that but it's hard to see um, you're gonna need some type of lightings that I have here um, to uh, crawl over there all the way over here and then find it but uh, to make it easier I'll show you where it is the hardest one I had trouble with is this one on this side it's about right here the other one is right here right behind here that's why I recommend removing all these wiring clips to give you more room uh, the middle one right here is probably the easiest um, out of the three but it's not that simple um, it's still a little uh, difficult to reach but is manageable the only one is the one on the right and the left is the hard one okay let me go ahead and show you one other thing that I did not mention also is this tube or a wiring tube right here you gotta unclip these right here all of it um, to give you more room because this is in the way so in order to do that you're gonna need the sharp nose pliers very simple to stick it in the middle and pull it out clip it clip it and pull it out now these um, I already broken the, uh, broken them uh, the clip but they they still um, can stay in but if you do it just be careful <sighs> it 
There's one more clip right here. Right here. You can move all that out of the way. Okay, that will give you more room. Okay, let me go ahead and show you where those uh, spark plugs are located. If you look carefully, this one is the middle one that is more easier to take out than the other two. The screw is right there. So if you can remove that screw, then you can pop it out and replace the spark plug. The other one on the left side, is covered by this bracket right here. Let me show you. Hold on. Okay. See this bracket right here? There's one screw here and there's one screw here. That's is facing upward. So if you can take out this bracket, that screw right there is what's holding the uh, spark plug cap. So once you remove this bracket, it's going to be pretty challenging, but once you remove that, then you can take out this screw and pull out the, the spark plug and replace it. That's two of them. Now let's go ahead and show you the third one. Now, as you can see, see that clip? That's where that um, last spark plug is located, um, but it's below this little thing right here this wiring so if you unscrew this right here take that out pull this up and then uh, the bolt that is holding down that spark plug cap um, should be visible and uh, you should barely have enough room to remove it and once you remove that and pull that out and uh, replace the spark plug um, everything should be good and this is the most challenging one I believe, um, but once you've done that, putting back everything should be as easy. Okay, but if I don't show it to you, then you wouldn't know what to look for. And sometimes you feel it, uh, you feel something that is a bolt, you remove it, it's not the spark plug. And I've done that myself already. So, this concludes my video. But that's the end of the video once again thank you for watching my channel and you find this helpful please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe